Today I'm going to be showing you guys my entire X-Files collection, my DVD co collection, and my Blu-ray collection. What do I want? I want to play a game. I just picked up these X-Files box sets. I have seen some of this show. I think it's a very well done show and I actually really end up caring about Mulder and Scully throughout this show. I've seen the the uh, new, the two newest seasons they did, uh, they brought it back. I've seen both the movies, and I've seen probably about four seasons or so, the first four seasons of the show. So I think this is a very good show. I definitely am excited to watch the rest of this series. I'll probably just watch it from beginning to end on this Blu-ray set. First, I want to get, show you guys my the original x-files complete series dvd box set now this is a beautiful beautiful box set look at this nice nice presentation i i believe this dvd set came out right before the second movie came out so this only includes the first nine seasons and a first movie fight the future but this is how box sets should be done. This is how a DVD box set should be done. Now it's magnetic. It opens up like this. Now you got another awesome picture of Mulder and Scully right there. Now I love, this has a drawer with contents in it. I'll show you that at the end. But I really like how they got each season and they got the movie in there. So look at that, I like how they do that. I like how it's packaged. Perfect DVD set. Now let's pull out each individual one because I love this here. You got, here's the first season, awesome pictures. Trust no one on the back. And I like how it's a, I actually like this, how it's a book and you got each disc. I won't show you every disc individually, but I will say the disc art is beautiful and I think it's better than the, I, I think the presentation of the box set itself is better than the Blu-ray set, but of course the video quality, it was remastered on the Blu-ray, so it's better to watch it that way, but as a collector, I definitely like the packaging on the DVD set even more, so beautiful stuff there is season one. First one said trust no one this one says deny everything but another little book let's look at the disc i mean look at that it's got great artwork on every disc that's why i like the presentation better than the blu-ray itself the blu-ray set just as far as packaging goes this set is awesome just more disc. Just great artwork on the disc and everything. But yeah, deny everything. That was season, that was season two. Now let's look at the season three artwork with the disc. This one it says apology is policy. But, of course, they got the list of the episodes, the beautiful disc art that I dig on the, the DVD set. But, yeah, look at that, all that artwork. That was season three. Now, let's look at season four, which I have seen. I believe I haven't seen all of season Maybe I stopped around season four, but I was actually really starting to care about Mulder and Scully by that point, and it was just a good sci-fi show. Very well done sci-fi show. I like the red disc on this one. But that was season four, awesome red disc. And that one, of course, says everything dies. Now let's look at season five which this is where i about where where i stopped the first time when i was watching this all the way through the back says resist or serve 
So this is, yeah, this is going to have, of course, you got the list of the episodes and you got blue disc this time around. Back in 2007, this had to be an amazing set. It's still really good. It's just the picture quality isn't the Blu-ray, remastered Blu-ray, but still beautiful presentation. Now that was season five. So here is the movie itself, uh, Fight the Future. It's set in between five and six. So that's where I put it in my, the box set. Just kind of a plain disc on this one. And you got, I believe this is the bonus features for the entire set. They just put it with the movie. Of course the back says fight the future. Now we're on to season six. The back says, of course, I want to believe. And you got a picture there. So probably yellow disc this time around. Just cool. Now it's got a yellow disc theme. Digging this. But yeah, really cool stuff. Hey, let's look at this five just for the fun of it because there looks like there's... So just look at the beautiful disc art on, these set, on this DVD set. Just well done. This is just... Was the right way to do a DVD set in 2007. Now that was uh, season six set, season seven. The back says believe to understand. I haven't seen these seasons, so I'm not sure what that means exactly. Got a cool color on these discs, but just great stuff, man. Loving, love this set. Now these, this set and the Blu-ray set of the complete series are out of print technically but they are available on eBay that's where I got these both of these sets from I will say if you buy the blu-ray set this set brand new it is expensive on eBay so if you can try to find like a used set I'm, I'm picky I wanted the blu-ray set to be brand new this came out like seven years ago and it went out of print now here's season eight the back says the truth is out there. Now this has got like a purple, purple disc. Beautiful. But I guess season eight and nine, Mulder isn't in it as much. I heard he's like in half of season eight. And then I think he shows up maybe just in the finale in season nine. But I like Scully too. So, and I really dig uh, Robert Patrick from... Terminator 2 so if he's in this show, huh, I'll watch it. I don't care. I don't care now We got the final season this one says they're watching kind of like a kind of little different yellow Disc on this one But yeah, just awesome stuff here if you're an X-Files fan you probably have these sets already now there is a drawer on the bottom, so I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull this drawer out. It's on the bottom here. It's got some contents. I bought this off eBay. They included the movie. We'll look at the. This is the second movie. If I, uh, I want to believe. We'll look at that closer when I look at the other Blu-rays. You got like a all the original contents in here that it came with. This. Graphic X-Files graphic novels. You got these really cool cards. I don't want to open this. This is the the content is still pristine in here. So I'll just leave that wrapped up. Then you got your favorite shows on DVD pamphlet. That's cool that this is still in here. Well, there's that. Then you get this awesome poster uh, it's uh, the fight the future poster I probably won't unwrap it but uh, yeah it's the fight one of the fight the future teaser poster cool stuff I don't want to mess that up now this is probably the coolest part here first we got a look I think it's a little part of the graphic novel for X-Files that's cool I really dig that 
But yeah, that's just a little graphic novel in there. And then we got this massive episode guide, just beautiful episode guide. You got pictures, description of the episodes, the order of the episodes. It tells you the special features on each uh, disc and everything. Just awesome. But that is a very nice episode guide that the Blu-ray does not include. That's why this set's a little better in my eyes as far as packaging goes. That's all. The, that was all the stuff from the drawer. The uh, movie fits perfect in there, the second movie. Let's take another look at this set. This is just so beautiful. I love this thing. Just a great, great DVD set of X-Files. Love this set. Just very great, very great packaging. But that was the DVD set of uh, the complete series. Now, I think we're gonna look at the Blu-ray set of the complete series. Plus, I got them, the, the other, the event series in season 11 and the first movie on blu-ray but let's first look at the blu-ray complete series the presentation on this is beautiful the picture quality they remastered this it looks a lot better than the dvds but i actually like the packaging on the dvd set better as a packaging but yeah still great disc great video quality but yeah it's a, a lot lighter set than the dvd set too shows you how Cheaper, a little cheaper uh, physical media has gotten over the years. Because this came out maybe 10 years after the DVD set. Pretty cool. I, I dig this image. I dig the packaging overall. You open it on the side. You just pull out all the disc. The truth is out there. You got some cool pictures. And you got I Want to Believe on the back here with more pictures now this is very simple but I dig the individual seasons and all their own blu-ray cases I actually really like that simple but effective it keeps the disc safe but this will go we'll go through a little quicker because it's kind of a simple presentation there's season one blu-ray got all your extras on the back now, they have the episodes guide behind the disc. Uh, that's all right, I guess. But you got simple discs. They all look the same, but it works. Uh, they're Blu-rays. Better quality than the DVD. But there's all the disc. Just a bunch of Blu-ray disc. Nothing too special on that. Now, here's a season two. This has like a little... A thicker case because it has an extra disc so they had to put it in a thicker case Mulder and Scully on the back I like that they make an X out of something in the picture on every season nothing too fancy there's the episodes on the back and all the discs look the same just a little bit different color scheme so there's not much to see on the inside of these you got season 3 There's the back. And just the same thing on the inside. Just kind of a yellowish disc on this one. Episode guide behind the disc. So nothing as extravagant as the DVD box set. There's season four. And there's the back. You can look at, there's a lot of special features. I think they said there's like, 20 something hours special future something crazy like that now we got season six just beautiful picture cool picture on the back just more blu-ray disc on the inside so i won't open that one here's season six kind of a reddish yellowish look to it i dig all the artwork i just like the Kind of the cool presentation on the DVD set a little more. But now we got season 7. Yeah, no, kind of a cool picture. They got like an X out of 
something there making the next kind of cool now we got season eight with the t1000 himself robert patrick that's cool that they got him in this show after boulder was kind of gone a little bit i i'm kind of excited to watch the later seasons just to have a little bit different of a dynamic i guess than boulder or scully but i kind of like digging this purple look on this one but just more disc on the inside and we got of course season nine the final season and of course more same picture different color disc so not as much to the blu-ray set now we got the like a double feature of the two movies fight the future and i want to believe this is kind of a cool package i like how they did that they put the two movies together all right fight the future i like this movie quite a bit more than the second movie i, I think it's just a little more well done in my eyes i enjoyed it just one disc on here with pamphlets in there, still in there. But that was Fight the Future. And of course, I want to believe. I thought this movie was okay, but it kind of just felt like a, a longer TV episode. It doesn't have kind of the epic feel. It doesn't feel like quite like a movie like Fight the Future. The Fight the Future feels like a actual movie with you know with the budget this one felt like the budget was cut some now we got two more seasons they brought this back many years later and i've seen both season 10 and 11 i enjoyed it somewhat i thought there were some decent episodes but i thought it just didn't have that classic feel of the original run enjoyable but just not perfect there's like a a pamphlet in there at least there's disc art on this i i'm glad they got some diff cool different disc art and you got like a cool image and then like what's on the disc on this side behind the di disc so decent presentation and there's only six episodes in uh the event series they were calling it and then we got the final X-Files thing as of right now. Season 11, this had 10 episodes, so a few more than season 10. I thought this was okay, but I felt like the ending wasn't super satisfying. Like, it had an okay ending. If this was going to be the final X-Files we ever get, wasn't the best in my eyes. Could have been a little better. You got the episodes right there. And then you got plain blue disc, three disc set. At least you got a uh, picture behind the disc there. But there is season 11. Now guys, that was my entire Xbox collection on DVD and Blu-ray. And presentation wise, as packaging and everything, I prefer the DVD set. But picture quality and everything, the disc is a lot better on the Blu-ray set. They remastered everything. Now, all this stuff, I believe, most of it, is out of print for the X-Files series. So you have to get all this off eBay if you want. I spent some money on eBay because I bought the Blu-ray set brand new. These two seasons brand new. The movies brand new. Of course, I bought the DVD set used, but pretty good. Uh, nothing too bad on packaging and stuff still looks pretty good if you're an x-files fan you definitely ha can get it on dvd and blu-ray so that is it today guys i hope you guys enjoyed my x-files collection i will be seeing you guys next time bye guys